complete the following conversions. Here we have 2.47 liters, and our goal is to convert this into milliliters. In order to do this, we're gonna use this useful acronym, which states the following, knock him down, Larry, don't commit murder. Indeed, the K is for kiloliters, this L is for liters, and this C is for milliliters. But our goal is to convert liters to milliliters. And so that means that we have to go from this L to this M. And that means that we have to move over three times. It's gonna be one, two, and three. So we move over three times to the right. Notice that we have 2.47. The decimal point is here. So we have to move over three times to the right. So it's gonna be one, two, and three. Now, what does that give us? Well, that gives us 2,400. And 70. Showing our working, we have the following. We have 2.47 multiplied by 1,000. And we multiplied by 1,000 because we move over three times to the right. And so we have 2.47 multiplied by 1,000, which gives us 2,470. And this is our answer here, 2,470. Next, we have this next question, which states, complete the following conversions. And our goal here is to take 328 centimeters and convert it into meters. In order to do this, we use this useful acronym, which states the following, knock him down, minister, don't commit murder. The K is for kilometers, the M is for meters, and this M right here is for millimeters, and the C is for centimeters. Our goal is to convert centimeters to meters. And so that means that we have to move from this C to this M. So we move over twice, it's gonna be one, two. And so we have 328. And notice that we move over twice to the left. And so that means that we have this, we move over twice to the left. And so this is gonna be one and two, and it's gonna be equal to 3.28. Now we have, 328 showing our working. We have 328 divided by 100. And we divide by 100 because we move over two times, right? And so this, and so this is going to be 328 divided by 100, which equals to 3.28. And so that means that if we have 328 centimeters, that's going to be equal to 3.28 meters. Next, we have 500 grams, and our goal is to convert this into kilograms. In order to do this, we have to use this useful acronym, which states the following, knock him down, Grammy, don't commit murder. Notice that this K stands for kilograms, the G stands for grams, and this M stands for milligrams. We have to convert from kilograms to grams, and so that means that I'm sorry, we have to convert from grams to kilograms. Again, we have to convert from grams to kilograms. And so that means that we are gonna start from G and we're gonna end up at K. And so we, and so we move over three times, it's gonna be one, two, three. And so that means that we have 500 and our decimal point is here. So we're gonna move over three times to the left. And so that means that we have one, two, three. And so what we have here, is a 0 0.500. Showing our working, we have a 500 divided by 1,000, and 500 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.500. And we just drop off the two zeros, so that's gonna be 0 0.5, which is gonna be equal to 0 0.5 at the top here. And so we have 500 grams, it's gonna be equal to 0 0.5 kilograms, and that's the answer to this question.